Well, what I'll try and do is get the idea first and then figure out a way to produce that idea, whether it's painting or embroidery. I try not to be uh, too, uh, what's the word, too anchored to a particular medium. So initially I would just paint when I was first starting to produce work, but now I've kind of branched out a little bit and I'm fortunate enough that I'm in a spot where if I, if I feel I want to make something sculptural or installation based, I know that I can do that. Oh, I guess I've been a uh, full-time artist maybe since 2000. Oh, maybe five years or six years where I haven't had to have another job and I've just been able to live off uh, producing artwork. These works, what I'm trying to do is to give multiple access points. So at the heart of it, it's quite serious. I call the images all the explosions and missile tests and that sort of thing. Um, but that the jokey image on top plays around with that confusing relationship between these things and the confusing relationship we have sometimes with these quite abstract but violent realities. So these things that seem so distant, but playing around with the, the, how these images are seen together. So usually uh, the composition, composition wise, you've got this face and then you've got an explosion happening where their brain is. So it, it ties to that emoji with their brain right, exploding. Right. But that being said, it's all very realistic imagery and all relates directly to things that are happening in the world.